hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this trendy standing cape that you see in most assure it it's very simple to draft so let's get into the video <music> The very first thing I'm going to be doing is to prepare the pattern paper that I'll be using before cutting it on the main fabric. So I'm trying to get the length and the width of my pattern paper. And after getting the length and the width of the pattern paper, I just want to go ahead to get the accurate length that I want, which is 44 inches. This is not the standard. I just want excess. I know it's going to be too long. I can only trim it out later on. Then I'm just checking the accurate length measurement so that I can get a straight line. After connecting these lines together, I'll cut off the remaining part of the pattern paper that I don't need. Just reconfirming my measurements. You need to measure your client. I forgot to do that and that is why I'm going through this stress. Then I'll go ahead to fold my pattern paper into two equal parts. And at the edge, go in by two inches and mark my width off seven inches then i'll go to the edge of my pattern paper coming first by two inches another two inches before marking the width of the cape which is four to five inches then i'm going to go ahead to connect with first the dotted lines then take my ammo curve to connect on a curvy not really straight just a curvy line to the edge of the pattern paper and the next thing i'm doing is just to mark my seam allowance of half an inch round my measurements and also connect together before going ahead to cut with my scissors after cutting off this is how it's looking then i'm going to go ahead to cut on the main fabric i'm going to be cutting two pieces of this for just one the client wants two different pieces but at the end of the day she decided to go for just a piece so you'll see me maybe cutting four pieces i don't know if it's included in the video or not but i'm going to be cutting two pieces of this one for the main part of the cape and the other for the lining of the clip so these are the two pieces that i need i went ahead to cut the color stay which is very a hard one and an sd for both fabric i'll be using the hair stay for the outer part of the fabric and the color stay for the inner part you can use peplum stay a very strong stay for the inner part to make it stand firmly and i'll go ahead to hang on the color stay and my fabric together but i'm going to be using hemming gum so that the color stay can stick to my fabric it will look smart it will not look rough on the surface that is why i'm using this hemming gum to help me you just need to take your time in doing this because it took me time i had to just reduce the video a, a little and you can see the hand results that's why the fact that i use it and hemming gum to hold it down you can see the difference between the hair stay and the color stay gum. and i'm going to go ahead to just trim off the excesses i have at the edge before using my soyable boning on it so i'm going to roll some lines for this soyable boning i just don't want to sew it like that i want to use a guideline to sew it so to make it look more smooth and neat then i'm going to go ahead to just remove firstly my seam allowance then divide the remaining ones into four equal parts for me to sew it on and what i did is from the edge of the cape i came in by i think three to two inches because i'm not going to be starting the sewing from the edge of the cape so i'm going to take it to the machine right now and just show us how to sew it you can see that i did not start from the edge of the cape i started from where my two to three inches started i've forgotten the actual measurements i used because i'm doing the voiceover and also i did not end at the edge of the cape so that when i'm attaching it to the main fabric it will be easier for me this is the end result of sewing the sewable boning on the cape it's already standing and firm i just like the way it's looking it's very neat and the lines are straight the next thing i'm going to be doing is to put both right side of the cape together and go ahead with my pin to pin them 
together in order for me to sew along the same lines just like so with the sewing machine and i have gone ahead to sew it this is the lines and before turning it i just want to trim off the excesses also for easier turning it wasn't easy turning it trust me but you just have to take your time if you are trying this out when you want to turn it it took me a while before it got turned to the other side but i just have to keep going until i got what i wanted and i love it at the end of the day that i took my time in turning this piece i love the outcome at the end of the day so here is what it's looking like after turning it it's looking so rough you would think it's not redeemable but i tell you it is but the solution to this is just for me to take my time to iron all the roughness out to make it smooth and beautiful just like the way you're seeing the first one that i did i went ahead to iron that one and i'm going to be ironing this one also and you can see it's making a huge difference the ironing is making a big difference from the first rough one that we saw in the video i'm done ironing right now and this is the end result is looking smooth neat and strong just exactly as i wanted the next thing i'll be doing is to fix it to the bodies my clients came in and i went ahead to attach it I trimmed off some excesses like I said earlier in the video that I'm just doing 44 inches and it's not the standard so you need to take the measurement of your client if you want to do this so I'm just going ahead to attach it carefully she decided to go for just one cape so the other one is just there this is the end of the making of the cape after attaching some trimmings to make it look lovely she loves it i also love it I love and it is sitting pretty on her just like i hope it's going to look she told me she got a lot of beautiful comments from her friends and onlookers and i just like the end result we've come to the end of this video thank you for watching please leave your thoughts in the comments section subscribe like and hit on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, see you. Bye bye.